here. So my name is Noel Murphy, and I've spent uh, a lifetime in, in, in technology, um, designing sort of complex electronic circuits that are in the fabric of your lives, but you, you never see them. They're buried in laptop computers, or buried in communications networks, and all sorts of weird places. But we're probably at a, a, a point now, and I'll talk you through our story, where that incredibly complex technology is sort of coming out of those sort of hidden places and uh, intersecting with you know, everyday life and wearable and clothes. So my talk today, I'm going to talk a little bit to um, you know, that technology, so we get a, an understanding of it. Uh, the team that's behind it, I'm going to do a quick introduction to that team. Uh, and then live on stage, we're going to create a uh, unique piece of musical collaboration, um, which is a very high-risk technology, but we're going to give it a go. But first, let me introduce you to um, just a collaboration we've been doing with some magnificent people in, in Linz, in Austria, the Ars Electronica. So a wonderful team of people. And we set them the challenge of reimagining a 12th century invention, fireworks. What would fireworks look like in, you know, in this century? What would it look like? So we did a, a beautiful collaboration with them, and here's what they came up with. It's pretty similar to tune an instrument. You have to make sure that every component of it is working properly. Everybody ready? All drones switched off. Fast forward. Okay, there we go. Okay, so beautiful piece of work, right? So that's um, you know very talented bunch of engineers, musicians. That is, um, and you can see some of the sort of um, time sync pictures there, where you know we did piece of engineering with them where we fly 100 drones simultaneously in 3D space, all interacting with each other and moving around. So, you know, a really beautiful piece of engineering and um, a very talented bunch of musicians. So it's really, that technology now is sort of, as I say, it's coming out. It's coming out of sort of the hidden in your laptop. You know, it's coming out into, into very much into the art space. But none of this is possible without, um, you know, an incredibly talented bunch of people who work, a few of them here, but all, the team is about 30 minutes away uh, in Leakslip. Um, so I'm going to do a quick intro to the team just in case you think I'm actually the guy responsible for most of the good work here. Um, as we go into it, that's the size of technology. You'll see it in a second. So if you, um, I don't know how many people here like, um, like their Polo Mints or their M&Ms. Let's give you some picture of the technology. That's, that's the, you know, that's where it's evolved to. That's how small it is, right? It will fit comfortably inside a polo mint. Okay, so let's meet some of the folks who are actually doing this work.
Hello. Welcome to Leakslip. Leakslip is the home of Intel in Ireland, a site of 4,000 uh, Intel employees here. We're rightly proud of our fabrication. This is the most advanced manufacturing site in Europe and one of the most advanced in the world. The design teams here are working on two very exciting areas for Intel, Internet of Things and wearable. What both of those are about are shrinking computing. So taking the venerable PC that we all sort of grew up with, the laptop, and shrinking it down to a size that can fit in a button, disappear into your clothes, disappear into your environment. Here in Leakslip, we lead that area worldwide for Intel, and it's uh, one of Intel's sort of major strategic directions over the next 10 years. Let me now introduce you to some of the folks who actually do this technology. Hello, my name is Maeve and I'm from Ballantyre in Dublin. I studied electronic and computer engineering in UCD and as part of my master's there I completed an eight month internship here in Intel. I've been working here full time since September, helping to design really cool wearable technologies. Hi, my name is Alex Russo, I am French. I've been working in Intel Ireland for the last two years. I am part of the software team responsible to deliver the software upon which our customers will be able to deliver amazing experiences and amazing technology on wearable computers. My name is Martin Power. I went to the University of Limerick and I've been at Intel for about five years now. I work as a design engineer where I work with colleagues from across the globe to turn their ideas for wearable products into real designs which ultimately end up in wearable computers. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm from Spain. I've been working four years for Intel. Now, my job in Ireland is to work with the designers like Martin to make sure that our products work first time. Okay. So, you know, magnificent technology and, and you know, really creative, you know, so um, to me there's this almost artificial sort of construct we have in our mind between technologists and artists, like, you know, like they're different breeds. Um, I look at my team, people like Maeve, people like Anna, and day in, day out, incredibly creative. Creative in a space of engineering, um, but, you know, to me, th those are some of the most creative people in the world, and really, what I'm here for today is, as this technology comes out into the world of arts, um, we've been reaching out to a, a lot of different companies, people like Fossil in design, people like Red Bull, we're going to see in a moment, X Games, which is the you know, huge sort of um, winter ski event in, the, in Aspen in the US. I'm reaching out to collaborators, and really why I'm here today is to reach out for some more collaborators, hopefully here, who will help us define what this technology looks like you know, out in a wearable world, because frankly, no one has a clue, right? And I, I love the, um, you know, Ada and her terms of sort of weaving, you know, algebraic terms, you know, that's, that's really what we do, right? That is exactly what we do. Um, you know, to try and explore this world, because nobody knows what wearables, what, as you shrink technology onto the tip of your finger, um, what will that look like? Is it in a button? Why, how would I use that button? Um, so it's really a, an explore, We're really exploring that world. And the way we've chosen to do that is work with some very strong collaborators, you know, just people like Ars Electronica, which I showed first. Um, in the sports side, we're going to, I'm going to show you um, Red Bull, just to, an example of the technology. And then let's, um, let's have a conversation on how we take that into arts and blend all that together. But first, let's look at what our existing collaborators have done with the technology you just saw. What does it take to train better? What does it take for an athlete to perform smarter? It's all in the stats. Okay, so we have a lot of fun at work. <laughs> so working with Brandon and the team, that's ESPN and X Games. You know, we've sort of 
that's us trying to, you know, feel what that technology would look like. You know, if you apply that sort of um, intelligence and you shrink it down, you know, how can you make a, a difference at, at a human level? How can you interact with people? Um, and the conversation here today is with arts and music. So we're going to do a live, very high-risk demo. Um, and I'm going to call my two assistants on here. So Ashling and Orla, going to help their dad <laughs> with this technology. Good. So school's out, you know, it's, 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 it's your child minding, <laughs> and, you're, and you're paying for it. Um, so um, let's see how this goes. Um, so this, um, you know, so the, we've applied some wearable technology in um, right foot uh, on Orla, left foot on Ashling, and some, and some waist and, and twirls. So Ashling, let's see how this goes. So cowbells. Okay, we got cowbells. Uh, symbol. I like it. Okay, let's do some some Disney twirl. You, you know, so that's just taking technology, embedding it in shoes, and just playing a game with it, and creating live music as we want, right? So, you know, that's sort of part of the inspire of this stuff, right? And frankly, it's the part we don't know. So, I need your help to allow us to take this technology and have some fun with it. Okay? Thank you. Want to be in the audience next time? Click here for tickets to InspireFest 2017.